You know, we're only a month into this government and people already want change. We ran a poll yesterday, should there be a general election? 81,000 um, votes in that yeah. and 93% saying there should be a general election. Did you see who the nation would rather we had in charge? People want Martin Lewis to be Prime Minister. Lot of nods here, lot of nods. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Martin Lewis. I wonder how he feels about it. I'd rather have my nipples wired to electrodes and not in a good way than become <laughs> Prime Minister. Shall we move on? Did you see some of the other favourites? David Attenborough? Hmm? Stephen Fry? Hmm? And the one that caught my eye, Alison Hammond. <laughs> it would be amazing. Instead of this laugh, <laughs> we'd have this. <laughs> it'd be quite fun, wouldn't it? Be joyous. Every time she did an interview, it would be fantastic. Do you think you've got what it takes to be Prime Minister? <laughs> Are you going to cut public spending? Fairness <laughs> come into it. Is that one of your key considerations? <laughs> what will it take for West to get directly involved? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? <laughs> Have a new leader. Rishi Sunak gets to work. Our new Prime Minister says he's going to fix the mistakes. He will be our third Prime Minister in two months. Can he convince the country that did not elect him? So? <laughs> How do people feel about Rishi replacing Liz? It's like choosing which bit of carrot you want to eat out of a pile of fish. <laughs> Welcome to Britain. It is a buffet of vomit. <laughs> what a mess, man. We've had three prime ministers in seven weeks. We had the bullshitting baboon, <laughs> the talentless turtle, <laughs> and now we have a leader who's so awkward, he ends speeches like a broken robot. And I will work day in, day out to deliver for the British people. wave like a human. I mean, what the hell is this? <laughs> well, if you think that's strange, did you hear about his childhood? Rishi Sunak ate pizza watching Baywatch on plastic blanket as a child. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> How horny was he? <laughs> As a teenager, he had to watch Baywatch on a plastic blanket. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just... <laughs> His poor parents. I'll be ready. Oh, God, it started. <laughs> Fetch his wang rag. <laughs> Did you hear about David Beckham? He allegedly signed a £150 million deal to be the face of the Qatar World Cup. Can you imagine that phone call? No way, absolutely not. No, they've got an atrocious human rights record. There's, there's no way you'll get me there. £150 million. <laughs> Victoria! <laughs> Pick out your best burger. <laughs> Is there anything he won't do for money? I reckon if you paid him enough, he'd promote Russia like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, take this PR video. Do you reckon he'd really say this if he wasn't being paid? I've been coming here for quite a few years and I've seen a real football culture here. I think it's going to be great for the fans. It's been pretty incredible. Set up perfectly. The facilities is incredible. Qatar is ready for this World Cup. Believe it or not, we're at the entrance to the England team hotel. Who tells me? I'm sure it's lovely inside. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better. Look at all the Qatari stuff he says he loves. 
I love riding. I love to go to fish markets. I love a bike community. I love to go to spice markets. And everybody knows how much I love a taco. <laughs> He's bloody taco mad! <laughs> you offer David Burrito, he'll tell you to fuck off because he's a taco boy till he dies. <laughs> this is my favourite bit. Listen to this. I love being in the middle of nowhere and talking and eating and... I love talking, eating, jumping. <laughs> Sniffing, <laughs> wobbling. I love to wobble. <laughs> I love wobbling nearly as much as I love tacos. <laughs> now, what makes Beckham's behaviour shocking is that footballers can do so much, man. Did you see what Jack Grealish did when he scored? This celebration, a promise Grealish had made to a young fan with cerebral palsy. Did you think I was going to do it or not? I thought you forgot it. No, I, I didn't forget. It was always in the back of my mind, mate. It's beautiful. I mean, footballers don't always get it right. One Romanian team showed support for Ukraine by spelling out stop war on their shirts. Unfortunately, they stood in the wrong order. <laughs> <laughs> they meant, they meant, they meant so much to them. Did anyone else see the terrifying attack on King Charles? A man has been arrested after appearing to throw eggs at the king <laughs> and the queen consort while they were on a walkabout in York. They'd arrived for a civic greeting. But this wasn't the welcome to York they'd expected. Four eggs flung at the king. It is so British! <laughs> in America, they got guns. Here! <laughs> Get down! <laughs> He's got an egg! <laughs> I don't know why they were worried. If they hit his fingers, it would have looked like a delicious breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but the news lost their minds. They even showed it in slow motion. Slowed down, you can see how close some of the eggs came to hitting their intended target. <laughs> Protect the king. <laughs> They're trying to turn him into an omelette. <laughs> no. They took it so seriously. I'm surprised they didn't do this interview. Can you explain what it was like to be right in the heart of the attack on the king? <laughs> Man, I'm an egg. <laughs> See, <thank you. laughs> So silly. The papers were just as bad. King Charles's brave remarks after being pelted with eggs revealed. <laughs> and what were these words of courage? Everything all right? <laughs> he couldn't give a shit. <laughs> the only way he could have been less bothered would have been if he pointed at the eggs and went, look, Camilla, the floor's messier than my relationship with Harry. <laughs> Are you worried about the planet? Yes! That's right. Yes, a lot. Because people are not doing very good right now. I actually am because um, <laughs> the environment, there's so much cars um, driving at the moment in every country and also in some countries it's flooding. When you were saying that, she was describing terrible things. <laughs> But because you've got such a lovely face, I was like, that well, sounds really quite nice. <laughs> Which is, which is okay. I'm I'm so like, <laughs> I've often thought, is there a way, instead of getting rid of cars, we could have, like, weasels, badgers? Otters. Just dragging people. Is that something you could stand behind? All I was thinking is maybe getting bigger animals. What kind of animals? Good maybe thing. elephants. Elephants, I like that, yeah. Quick question, what if it's a small road? If it's a small road, then maybe... Crocodile. 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 Yes. All we've got to do is figure out a way of getting crocodiles ethically to Britain. Maybe you could just crocodile. get a plane, maybe. We can't get a plane. Steal one. Not here, mate. How do we know? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I have a book of you, Greta. Oh, oh. nice. 
Got any of my DVDs or...? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> if we do have to move to another planet, should everyone be allowed to come? Nope. So if Greta was trying to get into the planet, what questions would you ask her? Are you a good guy? <laughs> yes. Mm. Do you have M&Ms in your bag? Good question. Finally, we're getting to the crux of the matter. Empty your pockets. <laughs> oh, empty your pockets. Give me the M&Ms. <laughs> I don't have any M&Ms. I guess I'm not getting into the plants. <laughs> you do look quite similar. We do look quite similar. If I didn't know who you were, I would guess you two were, like, daughter. And... Daughter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I didn't know who Mate, you were. that's when you know you're getting know old. I thought it was going to be sister at least. <laughs> daughter. <laughs>Has the World Cup been like for fans in Qatar? Well, it hasn't got off to a great start. Now, fans at the World Cup in Qatar will not be able to buy alcohol in stadiums following a last-minute U-turn by the organisers. So, how did the England fans react to that? They won't like damping my team experience too much because I'll just get f all the games. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get a shit face for breakfast. <laughs> Roger, even that will be tough because football fans face paying up to 80 quid a pint in Qatar. You're right to make that noise. 80 quid. That's going to change the celebrations. Instead of this... <laughs> we'll have this. Saka with a chance. And he's going to second goal. <laughs> the other thing I found fascinating is that you're not actually making any money from this book, are you? No. No. Um, because... All the royalties that I would have made will go to charity. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's... So how do you earn money? Uh, study, I, because you get money for studying. Do you? Yeah. What a country. <laughs> do, in Sweden, they pay you to study? Yeah. What a fucking world. <laughs> Not much. Not much. No, but, you know, it's more than here. We, yeah. we have to pay to, to study. <laughs> It's only yeah. when you say it like that you realise how mental it is. Yeah. Do you want to read a book? Yeah, it costs you 50 grand. <laughs> Seems fair, and there'll be interest on that. OK. Yeah. But it, so, so, basically, you're still at school... Yes. ..and you're a full-time activist. Yes. So, what are your ways of relaxing? I make frog hats. OK. <laughs> Four frogs? No. That was a little grunt. So nice to hear a grunt. <laughs> That's when you know someone's really enjoying themselves. That's the first time I've ever met someone as famous as you. Go, <laughs> um, <laughs> delightful to hear. But it's just, that's when you know someone is really having fun, cos you don't want to make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's gonna be all right. <laughs>